What is going on, everybody? Bobby Five with my man Eric Sheets. Haber Sheets has got a little bit of of color issues today because he uh, he was blinded by the. I'm, I'm trying to think of something creative to say, and I couldn't think of anything. But he had a, a beautiful night last night. He finished second in the big one. And uh, Sheets, why don't we talk a little bit about it? Go through your lineup, and you did say well. Well, in, in 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 fairness, okay. Well, hold on. Let me share my screen. Yeah, I, mean, I literally in this live stream told everybody exactly what I did, <laughs> like yeah. literally exactly, exactly. Um, so let me let me let me share the screen here. Let's uh uh I mean without saying the actual lineup, I said I was playing Cleveland, I said I was playing the two chalk pitchers, and I said I was leaving 1700 on the table. And I did in fact leave 1700 on the table, and I had Cleveland, and I paid 5900 for Jose Ramirez, who got zero, <laughs> and it's still good enough. <laughs> it's a crazy game. So, so we ended up with a good day out of, out of, uh, so what we did was we had the Cleveland five man and then my heroes were my three men, uh, my six, eight, nine St. Louis kind of anti gaussman stack with your man Gorman at 2% with a home run and, and, and a stolen base and just, just, just launching me into it. Yeah. Um, 24 last night is like 48 on a normal night. That's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. And and th- and I actually could should complain just like a little bit. I, I not that I really should, but but in the um in the top of the eighth, actually, the bases were loaded with Dickerson on on second with like nobody out or for or, or yeah with nobody out with Gorman and Kinsner coming up for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Gorman hit a shot up the middle. The second baseman caught it on a fly and doubled up. Dickerson at second. Oh, okay. So bye bye Gorman, bye bye Dickerson, and then Kisner struck out the end of the inning. So yeah. so uh, I mean not that I have a right to complain, but I yeah, think yeah. I'd complain anyway. And then uh, and yeah, this is a yeah, this is a sheet slate, man. The other night uh, I had two hundred and twelve points. It was good for eightieth, and uh, tonight <laughs> like one hundred and twenty eight. It was and. Uh, I, well, I, I really didn't have to hold off that much. I the Mets Mets went to extra innings. Oh, this was I was awesome because this guy behind me had Rutschman and Baltimore went to extra innings. Yep. And but and and Rutschman got to second and they pinch ran for him like freaking champions. Oh, <laughs> there you go. That's <laughs> <Yeah, it's> awesome. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Yeah. Love but, uh, yeah, so that was uh, you know, obviously fun to uh fun to hit something, especially in baseball. Um yeah. Stuff and to um uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of ready to, uh, to get after it today. All right. Well, let's, let's jump into it. Congratulations, man. That was a great night. Um, there wasn't as many, you know, it, it, like you said, it's a sheet slate as a smaller slate, yeah. it's a lower scoring slate. And, yeah. uh, you did the weird thing with the, uh, with the pricing and everything. I, I think that's awesome. Um, all right. I'm going to share my screen real quick so I can get this done. Usually sheet shares his, so bear with me just a moment and we should be good to go. I think we're good to go. And uh, yeah, so we've got an interesting little uh, little slate today, which is going to have some serious chalk in the uh, Colorado Dodger game. And I can already assure you, knowing Sheets, that he's probably not going to touch it. Um, I'm just guessing here. I'm not 100% on that one. But uh, Sheets, I'm going to let you dictate. You've, you've had a lot more success than I have recently. So we're going to start each one off, each one of these games well, off with you here. So well, first of all, I can't, I have to pause for a second. I'm sorry, I just can't. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have oh. to. All right, we're back. We got it straightened out, and we're back. Um, so, Sheets, yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you sort of uh, steer a lot of this because uh, you've been you like I said, you've had a lot more success than I have lately. So, uh, this this feels weird. Didn't didn't uh, Brady Singer pitch? Oh no, I always get those two guys mixed 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 up. Um, for some reason, I thought Brady Singer pitched yesterday. Um, that was not the case. It was. Uh, it does still still seem like short rest for him. Anyway, Kansas City at New York. I think this is a natural pivot off of the Dodgers uh, stack, but I don't think it's going to be low owned either. Although it might end up being because of the pricing. I, I do think the Yankees are, are extremely viable here. Um, and I have no interest in tie on, but I think the Yankees are, are my immediate. Okay, if I'm not going to play the Dodgers or to mix in, that's the stack that I want. How about you? So, I would just like to say that I, I really dislike slates like this. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. I, I might end up trying to trying to to be like Bobby and like play the Dodgers, but 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 really just figure out a way 
to to play them without getting the popular combination somehow. Um, they just project to be such a so much better than everybody else. It's kind of hard for me to get off of them, you know. So I don't know. It's, well, it's, it's, so it's either going to be not play, which is you know not happening, okay, um, <laughs> or fi maybe figure out some way to play the Dodgers. But 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 like you said, I mean the Yankees are always kind of a kind of a decent pivot in situations like this. I'm not quite getting to them as much as some teams above them. So I'm probably going to give them a pass today. Um, also, again, kind of a letdown, letdown spot in general, um, you know, coming off the Subway Series, now playing Kansas City. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know, uh, maybe give somebody, maybe they might end up giving somebody a rest. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, as far as pitching goes, no, no, no real interest in the pitchers here at all. And we do have a little bit of, of weather concerns for this game. It's probably worth noting. This is this is going to be a frustrating slate, guys, because we've got weather concerns here. We've got weather concerns in Boston. We've got weather concerns in Baltimore. It just doesn't feel great when you don't have uh, don't have that many games to choose from as it is, and you've got the mega chalk in one game to to have these weather concerns. And by the way, I, I sort of I sort of overlook Tyon. I don't think he's a terrible play. I just don't think I'm going to end up using him. But I do have him on my list of a number of pitchers. I I, I wasn't you know. At first look on a normal slate, I wouldn't be interested, but I do think he's he's good enough. Here's where we get to uh, some chalk pitching over here, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh. Uh, I think that Wheeler is a terrific option, and I think that it's a huge stadium downgrade for Philadelphia. But if you were in the mood, this would be another thing you could do to get off of some of the Dodger chalk, I think would be to play the Phillies. Um, I think they'll have a little bit of ownership. Maybe Schwarber will. Because he's probably a little bit. And it's weird to say too cheap at fifty one hundred, but the guys hit like what does he get thirty home runs this year? Um, I think this is this is this is one of the other ones that stands out as a potential stack you could go with. What what are you doing here, Sheets? My initial um, look at Wheeler does not actually have him as the highest owned pitcher, um, and and uh, I I because I, I I have like mid range guys that are going to get ownership as well because people are going to want to play the Dodgers, I suppose. Um, yeah. So if you get away with it, I mean, if you could play Wheeler, Wheeler, I mean, sure. Um, I, I I think from raw points, he's probably uh, – actually, I, st I st you know, I still – we can get to him. I still have Otani rated, like, even better than him. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, Wheeler, Wheeler's definitely, I guess, in play if you want to spend up there. I don't I don't think I'll end up doing that if you want to – I'm going to spend up a hitting. And as far as far as far as the hitters go, I mean, once again, I, I'm not really getting to the Philly side – here either um so this is a game i'm probably going to be off of yeah i just think it's you know i just wanted to point out you know it, it, if this game was in philly i think that you would see a, a much higher run total and it would naturally be like a thing people did because it's in pittsburgh but it is 80 degrees in pittsburgh with the wind blowing out by like nine miles an hour and i think it's just worth noting that you know against zach thompson here i think that philadelphia is a patient team it's a bad bullpen behind them You've got uh, Derek Hall, who's that, like a little bit of a money saver at 3,600. Bryson Stott will be up higher in the order. Uh, he, you know, fits in nicely at second base or shortstop at 2,900. So the stack just sort of makes sense to me so a little bit. So I do have them on my list right now, um, and they're a little cheaper than the Yankees, so I can mix them if I want to with the Dodgers, and I don't expect them to be particularly owned. So that's my argument there. Um, Detroit at Toronto. Uh, this is – Another, another, another one of the the great pivot spots I think um, is uh, is Toronto. I, I do think Toronto will end up being the second most popular team, unless I'm totally crazy uh, to the Dodgers. Just in just, I mean, well, at least the Kirk Guerrero, maybe Springer or or Tioscar, they're, they're kind of expensive to all get in, but I do think that the Toronto is a terrific stack here today, and uh, I also think that uh, Kikuchi is. Uh, you know, is a guy you're going to want to, you're probably going to want to use because he's 7,700 and he allows you to pay up for the big bats that you want today. Um, I have a little, I always get a little nervous with Kikuchi, but I think it's a, it's a good enough spot where I'm willing to take a chance. Detroit's a little better against lefties than righties. So not overly excited about it, but I do think Kikuchi at, at chalk is, is certainly in play. What do you think about this one? Well, he's coming off of the, uh, the 15 day DL. So we just want to make sure that, that he's, um that he's a full go, right? Um, but, but assuming that he is, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I definitely have him as one of the, um, as one of the value pitchers, you know, and I have him rated, um, I have him like third overall, um, which, which certainly makes sense. I don't have him owned maybe third most again, my, my first look didn't really go to Wheeler. Um, but, uh, and Toronto, like you said, I mean, Toronto's 
seems to be the 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 chalky pivot, right? Right. Um, and I do have them rated uh, second second highest owned. So, but it, well, I I would love to if I'm going to play hitters, probably show pivot off of the pivot. Um, that's where where teams like the Yankees that you mentioned uh, make sense, and another team which I'll get to later. Um, but yeah, I think you know, listen, also Toronto playing those hitters with Kikuchi makes sense from correlation perspective. But I would just double check to make sure that he has no limitations. And you know, against Detroit, you always like to you know you always like to play pitchers uh, unless they're Sean Mania. Um, right. And uh, so yeah, I I totally agree. Toronto and uh, and Kikuchi. Yep, and I'm just I'm just sort of throwing in some guys who I like along the way here, and I'll I'll end up whittling it down as you try to do so far. So. Um, I do think that there is some argument for some of the Detroit guys. Uh, there's there that you have some cheap options. And I think that, uh, you know, Robbie Grossman's pretty good against lefties. We'll see where he bats in the order. Uh, Javi Baez has always been historically good against lefties, a big stadium upgrade for Detroit. So I think Detroit is a, uh, is an interesting uh, mini stack that you can use maybe to get off the chalk and maybe play if you're going to play a chalkier stack. All right. Uh, McKenzie and Crawford. And this is a, an interesting one. I don't think I'm going to be able to use McKenzie in this matchup because the it's Boston at home and they're just tough, but I do think he's interesting. Um, and then you get Cutter Crawford at 6,100. I, I don't know. Um, I keep saying the Indians, I mean the guardians, but I, I don't particularly want to use Crawford against the Indians here personally. Um, I'm sort of I'm sort of blah on this game a little bit, but the weird part is I feel like I could make an argument for McKenzie to play McKenzie or to stack against him because as we know, he can get extremely wild at times. And I think that's that that maybe Boston as a low owned stack is something you could do. I'm just sort of thinking out loud because it's like you said, the Dodgers stand out to be so much better than everybody on this slate. Yeah, yeah not me. I don't have an issue. I, this is my favorite one. I'm gonna go back to Cleveland again. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, I'll, I'll play Cleveland and remember Cleveland did did nicely for yeah, nicely for me with 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 Ramirez doing nothing. You know. Um, <laughs> so I'll go I'll go I'll go right back to them in in, in a slate where you need to um. You need to do something different. I have them rated really high, actually. Um, yep. And I don't know, uh, Cutter Crawford, whatever it is. I mean, I'll, I'll take my chances if Fenway, you know, when, when you when you need to do something like that. I'm not going to play McKenzie. Um, but, yeah, I think Cleveland's kind of my kind of my favorite. And if I could play Cleveland, play those same kind of semi-cheapos I did yesterday, then I could, then I could play Wheeler, you know. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's that's probably my favorite right now. I like that, actually. And, and just to, to even back that up even more, uh you know, it's nice, nice 81 degrees if, if they, assuming the game plays with the winds blowing out 10 miles an hour. I think that's a really, this is a definitely a spot where I could see, uh, I could see Cleveland and Boston both making some sense. Um, Boston, I think, will be the really, really low owned team because they see, you know, a good pitcher on the other side who costs a ton and everything. But I just want to say that McKenzie, this is the kind of matchup that I could see him having some trouble in. And he's a guy I'm huge, I'm very high on for the future. But with these young guys, I tend to like to try and pick on them especially on these smaller slates because they, they have the the ability to just completely blow up. So I don't mind the idea of playing some Boston. I think this whole game is kind of interesting. I'm curious what the umpire data comes in later on. All right. Uh, Gilbert and her kitty sheets. What are we doing here? Cause I feel a little similar to this game. I feel like I could make an argument for both pitchers. I feel like I could make an argument not for the offenses, actually. I, I'm having a hard time getting to either offense. What are you What are you thinking about here? Yeah, I'm probably off of this whole thing. Um, uh, I, I think that both uh, both pitchers are in okay. You know, are, are good enough to keep me off the hitters, and both uh, and the hitters are good enough to keep me off the pitchers. Uh, you know, it's a good game. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, who would have thought that? And see, <laughs> thinking about Seattle games being good games, I guess. But. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm probably I'm probably off of this. I'm not seeing either of these guys rate high for me, and I'm seeing neither of the stacks rate high for me. Yeah, or Kitty just it's it's just it's really weird. His strike he strikes out two in one six inning game, then he strikes out nine in six innings, then he strikes out two in eight innings. It's very confusing. His trying to track this guy, um, and uh, yeah, I, I think that the, everything is just meh for me in this game. So I'm probably going to stay away from it. A uh, little bit of concern for weather, as there sometimes is in Colorado, but I don't think it's going to end up being anything too serious. Uh, I'm going to make a case here that one thing you can do that's really simple to get off of some of the chalk is actually, I, I, well, I don't know how actually, I think they have some ownership. I think Colorado is really interesting against their former pitcher in Tyler Anderson. And I think I, I, that's all I've got. It's uh, Obviously, I have the Dodgers number one. 
I think the way to stack the Dodgers, if you're going to do it today, uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at, at the, the projected ownership and whatnot. I, I don't know if you're going to be able to get off of Chuck. I mean, Bellinger, I guess Bellinger and Turner will be the lowest owned, but I mean, you're going to, it's all going to be pretty chalky. Uh, maybe if you play all of Bellinger, Lux and Turner, that, that, that starts you off in the right place. Maybe um, it's really hard not to have this game as a priority. If I had to prioritize anybody, I do think Bellinger's price stands out for me. Um, but I, I kind of like the idea of, of getting different and, and playing some Rockies here against Tyler Anderson. What do you think about that sheet? I, th- I think they're going to have some ownership. I, don't, I just don't think it's going to be anywhere near what they're, what people are playing the Dodgers at. Yeah, I have, um, I have Colorado as kind of right alongside of Toronto and Cleveland as my, mm-hmm. as my, as my, uh, three non Dodger stacks. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually am showing, first of all, I'm showing Colorado as being pretty, as being owned a little bit, but not the same as Toronto. And, and just as a pure disclaimer, I, I'm actually seeing Cleveland being pretty chalky. So it's not, I don't think I'm going to be coming up with anything particularly interesting when I said I'm like Cleveland. Um, well, yeah, I, I'm going to look at this I, I think, I think, I think Ramirez will be popular. I think that uh, Jimenez might be popular. I think Fran Mill Reyes might be popular, but I think like Naylor and, and Nolan Jones won't have especially high ownership. Maybe okay. Nolan Jones a little bit. So I, I think you, I think you can find a way to stack it. It's not too chalky. Okay. Um, but yeah, I like Colorado. Um, and, and the Dodgers are the best, you know, best, the best stack on the board. Um, yep. I just don't know how to play them. I, I ho- hopefully, hopefully you get, I don't know, maybe Jake Lamb. Yeah. Maybe he would get him hitting ninth. Maybe you have a chance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm trying right. to think. Uh, uh, but like you said, when we when we talked about this yesterday, when we were just kind of looking ahead to today's slate, and I just noticed that it was Dodger Colorado. You even mentioned it. This is like one of Colorado's worst pitchers. So it's not uh, it's yeah. not like they, you have to worry about the sneaky lefty. You know what I mean? Um, keeping the Dodgers at bay. So uh, yeah, yeah. I mean they're gonna probably light them up. Um, but you know, same speech as usual. If you play them, you can't. I don't think you can play Otani and and you know maybe we'll get to some other guys, but. I really don't even think you play Otani in the Dodgers. I mean, you you have to find some other way or be very creative with your stats. Yep. Uh, totally agree. Um, and I do want to point out that Urena, for what it's worth, like I, first of all, I don't think he's good at all. Um, I think he, I think he is the worst pitcher on their staff, but he's sort of squeaked by so far this season and he actually okay. played the Dodgers before. So if you're looking for a, a reason to fade, it's he has only given up more than two earned runs in the start once. Uh, he hasn't pitched that many games, but that, you know, just trying to find any way to get off chalk is, is always a good thing. Uh, I don't see this as being a good matchup for him. He, I know he pitched well against them last time. Uh, I do think that the Dodgers get to him today, but maybe they don't get to them to the tune of, you know, 10, 12 runs. Maybe it's more like a five, six run game uh, for the Dodgers. And, and that's, that's it. Um, so I, 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 I don't know that I'm trying to find ways to fade the Dodgers and it's, it's hard for me to do, but it is baseball. And uh, in one game, anything can happen, obviously. So I'm happy to uh, to try to find a way to fade the Dodgers. Although currently my plan is probably to stack four of the Dodgers and and come up with another one of these other four man stacks that I like enough to to sort of combo with them because I I do think that they're going to put up a lot of runs. Um, I'm hoping- I mean, you, you know, you know, you know what you could do. I mean, if you want to, and we'll we'll get to it. We'll, we'll you know we'll, 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 we'll I'll I'll remember when we talk about the Angels game. Yeah, is that next? Yeah, that's the Angels game. So let's let's jump right into it. Um, Texas and LA. So I, you know, Otani. I don't understand the pricing with him. <laughs> like, why is he eighty nine hundred? And because of it, how is he not going to be clearly the most popular pitcher? He will be. Slate? He will be. Yeah. So, uh, hey, it's a smaller slate. We know that there are bus paths. Is there is there a way we can get away with playing some Texas? If we're not going to play Otani, she'd say. Well, that's what that. Well, that's what I was getting at. I, I was getting at you could play Dodgers with like you know, like like an angel st- uh, with the Texas stack or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And 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 that then 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 you get leverage against Otani. You know what I mean? Then and, and if you want to get really greedy, you play like a, a seven eight nine Texas stack or something like that. You know what I mean? But 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 in any case, um, I think you compare the Dodgers with Texas and and and, and make it work because. Otani is going to rate to be the best play on the board by a lot, and 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 people are just going to play him. And at only eighty nine hundred, you could with a couple with a couple of Dodgers cheap. I mean, you could play Otani and the Dodgers really easily. So I think Otani's Otani's going to be fifty percent on minimum. 
um, in, in the big buy-ins, probably more. Um, so that's, and I think that people, if, can, if, can people play Wheeler Otani? I mean, if they do that, then whatever. If you play but, Wheeler Otani and the Dodgers, it's going to be very hard to win unless you literally, yeah. unless you do something funny and play one of these, maybe a Philly stack with the other four, uh, maybe yeah, a I mean, stack with the other four. That would be, but you'd have to, and even doing that would be hard because of the pricing. So you have to find the cheap guys. Although Boston has, you know, four guys at 2.6 or below in the bottom of their order. And even their lead out, their top two are 35 and 3,700. Maybe that's something you could do. Can, can you play? Can you play Spencer Howard? It's an interesting question. Um, why can't we play Spencer Howard? Actually, you know, let's talk about that a little bit because Spencer Howard is nothing special. Um, has well has been nothing special, I should say. Uh, we you know we did see him throw 90 pitches in a game, which is a little bit reassuring. The Angels we know are terrible, and maybe there is an argument for playing a little bit of Spencer Howard at 5200 as a way of getting a little, a little differentiation. And that way you can, even if you get all those big bats in that are popular, it's just going to be hard for other people to do because Howard is really the only cheap guy. I mean, really, right. He's the only cheap guy we're really considering. I, I'm looking back here and no, there's nobody else another... that's cheap, cheap. I mean, the 7,800 guys, but whatever, but that's it. Right. There's nobody down in this range though. Like, yeah, it's it. So yeah, I think that Spencer Howard is a, uh, is is viable but uh i mean it's not, never exciting to try and tout spencer howard or whatever you know yeah but you know what but i, I don't but 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 shohan otani is to me exactly the kind of guy i want to try to beat at 50 percent ownership you know yeah, i agree so i'll try something and as a matter of fact i mean i'll play give, give me a like a kikuchi spencer howard line uh pairing or something and 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 then give me all the dodgers and then yep. i'll challenge someone to match that i don't know Maybe that's what I do. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty crazy this year, though, just how much better Otani's been. He's had the two yeah. massive blow-up games. But one thing I'll point out is one of the teams he blew up against was this Texas team. So may, maybe you're trying to find anything you can to try and get a little bit off the chalk on this slate because this is going to be a – you're going to see Dodgers, especially on, like, FanDuel, you're going to see Dodgers in, like, the 40% owned thing, which is just shouldn't happen for hitters. But well, it's, just gonna, it's just going to. Well, and the other thing you could do, and we'll get to it. I mean, this is a guy you don't like to play all that often, but this I might mean, be the time play, to play him. Yeah, I mean, you could play Alex Wood and Kikuchi, or Alex Wood and yep. Spencer Howard, or something like that, and screw Otani, screw Wheeler, and then you know, and then if you really want, if you really want to get nasty, you play those two, and then you know what else you do, and you pair them with like the expensive Blue Jays or something like that, right? You know, like, right. And 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 do that, and 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 use a, use a five three. Blue Jays Dodger stack with the Dodgers ones being like Jake Lamb and you know what I mean? Whoever, right, so. right. The bottom of the, the close to the bottom of the order are the cheap ones. I, I think it's interesting. Um, I, I do think Alex Wood is, is definitely in play for me today. He is the other guy. I actually, you know, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take my chances against Chicago uh, going into San Francisco. Um, the battle of the windy cities, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh I, I do think Alex Wood is, is a strong play here. I'm just going to double check the weather in San Francisco because this run total is a little bit higher than I thought it would have been. What is it, eight and a half? No, it's only eight, but I thought it, I thought that because, you know, I, I was surprised to see the Cubs at 3.7. Now only 57 degrees. Um, man, I don't understand that these people all talk about, everybody says that San Francisco is the greatest city, and it is a great city, like 20 days of the year. Um, it's it's just so crazy that people live like this. Like you're in California, everywhere else, I'm, it's 95 every day. It's too hot where I am, but like... Uh, I don't understand it. You live in California. You live in 50 degree weather for the summers. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, but yeah, so San Francisco, getting back to it, I actually think that they're going to see some, you're going to see some ownership on some San Francisco guys just because the prices, Austin Slater, Darren Ruff, Yerman Mercedes, um, all very cheap. Um, and I think they're actually some of the complimentary chalk that's going to, that's going to play out in this slate. And I'll just remind everybody there is massive pinch hit risk with anybody on San Francisco. Anytime you play them, it's not going to happen every time but it will happen often enough. I think Slater's the one I feel the best about. Um, and I think they are going to be fairly popular. That's where I'm at. I, I and, and for me, for what it's worth, I do have Wheeler ahead of Otani on my, on my pre preferred guys today. Um, because I, I just, I, Otani is crazy, crazy high ownership. And it's not, I just think that I, I feel really good about Wheeler in general against Pittsburgh here. And even when he struggles, he tends to usually get there. It's, he had the one bad outing against Toronto. He's just, basically like a lock for, for 20 plus fantasy points. And then, you, you know, often in this spot going to hit 30. So um, I have Wheeler number one, and this sort of, you know, this is not what I'm playing. Obviously this is all over the place cause I didn't do a stack, but this is just, just guys who I, I would highlight as being interesting plays on this slate. Um, 
for me anyway. What do you, what do you think about this last one? And then what do you think of overall summing it, summing it up? Yeah, man, like Alex Wood. Um, yeah. And I, and I'm, I'm, I'm probably not getting to the pitch of uh, the hitter. So for me, I mean, I was going to ask you, baby, you would any interest in Justin Steele um, again, just something else to do, but um, mm-hmm. I'm not really seeing that. Uh, so for me, Alex Wood, Kikuchi, you know, would be the, the, you know, the, 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 the mid tier guys that you would use if you don't want to play Otani um, just to kind of just get, just get, get your, get yourself some salaries. Then you can, then you could pay 6,300 for Ramirez or 6,300 for judge and, you know, whatever Guerrero costs nowadays, you know, and, 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 and do that, or maybe a Spencer Howard type, but um, yeah, overall it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a tough slate to play GPPs for me. So we'll, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll have to figure it out. So, yeah. Yeah, I know it's, it's getting, and I'll be live at six Eastern. I'm sure you won't be because you know, you're in the Hampton. Yeah, I'm out today, but I will, uh, I will definitely be live because it's going to take some figuring out and also we've got some weather concerns, but hopefully this preview can sort of give you an idea of some potential, you know, pivots. I, I like I said, the Dodgers are, are pretty clearly number one. I like the idea of Boston um, against McKenzie at low ownership. I like the idea of Cleveland a little bit and um, I really like Toronto, but unfortunately they're going to be pretty popular. I think the Yankees get overlooked a little bit today. So maybe that's what I end up doing. Um, and then I still am open to Philly and Colorado. I'm just, I'm still deciding though. It's, it's a lot of teams to choose from. Um, I, I like a lot. I like a lot of these stacks. I just think the Dodgers stand out as being significantly better than, than the rest of them. But at the same time, everyone else will too. So we're going to have to find some way to get different. All right, Cheats, anything else before we get out of here? Yeah, I, I, uh, I will reiterate what you said about, being on top of the weather, um, you, I, I have to remember to do that a little later when I put my stuff in because I do see the the Yankee game is um, is uh, is is in danger as is the Cleveland game. So yep. um, got to be on top of it. Yep. And uh, sheets again. Congratulations for last night. It's always awesome to hit, mm-hmm. and hopefully uh, you can do it again. If not you or me or or Rody, uh, hopefully one of the True DFS subscribers out there hits tonight as well. So sounds I'll good. Get- my picks up on uh, my early builds up, by the way, my early builds have been better than my later builds. So my early build mm-hmm. yesterday ended up almost winning the, uh, the oh, really? um, and then, uh, and then the later slate, it was much better before I pivoted it off. Uh, I mean, it was a couple guys who were out, but uh, nearly, nearly could have won the money and, and did okay. I did okay last night. It wasn't like that or good. It was just, just uh, throwing it out there that, that I do th- I do suggest you take out, take out the early builds, check out Rody's articles and, uh, Sheets, again, congratulations and good luck today and good luck to everybody else out there. Hopefully we'll see you guys screenshots in Discord. All right, sounds good.